Welcome to Define You Radio After Dark Conversations, where real people have unfiltered conversations about the topics that influence the way we think, feel, and move each week with your host, Valencia Griffin Wallace. Today on After Dark Conversations, I am here with my friend, Queen Shannon, and we are discussing being a black woman in America. So whether you're black or a woman or even in America, it's still going to be a conversation you're going to be glad to um, eavesdrop on, I guess is the perfect terminology. So I am your host, Valencia Griffin Wallace, and welcome to After Dark, where we have unfiltered conversations about everything. If you like the show, go ahead and subscribe. And as I always say, uh, let's see, share with your friends, family, and even your foes. Everybody could use a piece of this conversation. We'll leave it at that. Queen Shannon, talk to me. (laughs) Hey, love. (laughs) Oh, I'm ready for this conversation. I am ready. Oh, I'm I'm scared for this conversation, especially because of how, you know, like we're making our private conversations public. So I'm not, I'm like, people really get to hear it. This is huh. not for the weak, uh, weak minded, weak of heart. Um, in preparations for this conversation, I went ahead and Watch the video WAP. Have you seen it? <laughs> I've seen some of it, yeah. I didn't finish it. I uh now I've heard I the song like, numerous times. I've heard the song numerous times, but I just never actually took the time to watch the video, but I did watch parts of it and I was like, Oh, okay, I didn't miss anything and kept it moving. I this is the first time I heard the song and um of course watch the video because like because of like the thumbnail i think that's what you call it i was mm-hmm. like what hot tom mm-hmm. foolery <laughs> what fresh hello is this mm-hmm. like and if you i mean you have to look if y'all don't know what wap stands for please google it yeah, yeah. um please google it I, with the image of being a a black woman, you already have to, I don't want to say fight so many doggone stereotypes, but as a, because if you look at it and I don't, you know, everybody had their own feelings, whatever. Cardi B is not black. Okay. At all. So when we're talking about the imagery of being a black woman in America, let's take Cardi B out of this because she ain't black. Neither is um whatever Jenner that was in there. But right. all the black women up in there and I don't oh, come on, Megan. Huh. Like you, I want to root for her. Like I, I really do because you know, here it is a pretty uh smart um young black brown skin woman and like really why i mean jesus <laughs> you do what you do for a dollar you do what you do for the dollar to be pop to, to stay relevant to stay in the people's eye to give the people something to go with whether it means disrespecting yourself, whether it means making a whole, your instead of what's happening right now, creating some music that actually goes with what's happening, that speaks to people, that'll help people, you rather continue the 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 foolery that a freak keeps a man. You want to keep that going, Woo. and we are so delusional in this world. And we allow our daughters to hear this. And this is the retarded mess they're raised on. And then when they're grown and can't figure out why they can't keep a man. Baby, because you was bopping to WAP. That's why. Because you thought that that was what keeps a man. You thought that that would make your woman child. Let me, let me, let me go. Let me let you take back this because I got so many thoughts and feelings about all of this. Like. Someone that sings and, 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 and as a musician themselves, I don't respect it. 
Hmm. I don't I don't respect it. And I'll tell you why I don't respect it. Because in this day and time where black people have all of the things that they have to face at this very moment, there should where are the Sam Cooks? Where are the 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 uh, uh um the other artists that stepped up? Even, you know, the, the Mahalia Jacksons, whether you like them or not, they actually stepped up. The Marvin Gaye's, they sung something of substance to people during these times like this to help push them through, to help encourage them, to keep them fighting, to let them know I'm not disconnected from what's happening in the world right now. I'm sorry. Well, that... My vaginal parts are not have any have nothing to do with all of the lives that are consistently being killed right now, why are y'all not using your platform to encourage and to help motivate others to continue to push and to fight for what we know is right right now? Mm. I mean, it's, it's, it's disgusting. Okay. So let's say, let's say everything that's going on is, isn't let's, let's just, Mm -hmm. even if, What's going on wasn't going on. Why? Like, right. As as black women, our image image from the moment it was destroyed, as you know, from the queens and goddesses and those mm-hmm. things that we we were, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. from the beginning of colonial times, or however you want to phrase it, the image of black women has. It's it's been like um very purposely destroyed, mm-hmm. and and you don't have to be socially aware or or whatever the terminology is to to see that and understand that, mm-hmm. like you know, and that's what pisses me off. Absolutely, and that's what pisses me off because number one, people like it's not true. Because there's nothing special with what's between your legs versus a, another woman that's going to help you get and keep a man and become a wife and build a family. It's Thank it's you. not going to happen. Thank you. Yeah, like go ask the average man. That's why they have that terminology called strange. Oh, I'm just getting a piece of strange. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That part. So not like I'm looking for a woman to whip some WAP on me. I'm going to put a ring on that. No, it it doesn't work like that. And you get these women, young girls and grown ass women that that think I'm going to whip it up, whip it on him and he going to marry me. No, you end up with a bunch of people with a bunch of babies and you trying to figure out how you going to feed them and everything else. Then next thing you're talking, you know, mad ish about the baby daddy. But no, what happened to your WAP game? Thank you. you oh, because somebody else had the, a better WAP game is what ends up happening. Somebody had some know, better game. Come on. So so whose fault? It Like, it's so disgusting. And people are listening to that and then you singing it and popping it on everything yep. else. And then, you know, talking about how trifling men is to one of your six kids, <laughs> you know. <laughs> for the seventh baby daddy. Right. You understand? And if, if anybody confused with that math, that includes the kid that you wasn't sure the baby daddy who the baby daddy was. That part. Oh, this is this is after dark. <laughs> so while you worried about a WAP, um I know I know plenty of women that that has thought that. And the only thing they came out with was a DAP and many K I D S S. And a S T D. I couldn't think that quick. <laughs> Come, that's what they came out with. Because first you of know, all, first of all, no WAP has ever, ever kept a man in one place. Kept him faithful and ain't never kept him paying bills. It ain't kept, oh, I whip it on him, baby. He pay bills. Boo. You whipping it and he paying your phone bill and somebody else whipping it and he paying the electric bill. It doesn't matter. There's nothing so special that you're doing that somebody else can't do. It's got where where are all the substances that we need to teach young girls and like you said, grow even grown ass women need to know where is it at that you need to understand that you got to be able to hold this man down mentally, emotionally. Nobody's teaching that. No, hmm. you're not you're not teaching that part. You teaching them, oh baby, use what you got. God, let's go on over here to the players' club. Use what you got to get what you want. 
But at the same time, we flip and turn around and we want to be called a goddess. We want to be treated like queens. But I'm sorry, I don't I can't find a queen in history that used her vagina to get what she wanted. Now, she had power and her vagina did gave her some, some she did whatever she did with her vagina. But I can't I can't think of any queen in history that set up there because I got a vagina. Y'all all subject to me all over this, 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 this royal land right here. That, that, that's not what happens. That's not what it is. What it is is she had a brain and she knew how to operate and how to make moves and how to make things work and break them down and put build them back up. She knew how to do that. Uh, WAP ain't going to get that. That's not going to get it. I mean, because at the end of the day, let's all be real. Every woman would like to think, to be honest. Yeah, we all got that. <laughs> <laughs> we all got that. <laughs> Let's be real. We all got that. Every woman we thinks all that got about that power, y'all. Right. You okay. Know, honestly, Pie, that wait. Pie, come on now. That, wait. Honestly, when I heard, when I when I saw it, I'm thinking WAP, and the reason why is like you know y'all know I'm in mm-hmm. and from Louisiana, so I'm thinking okay, like WAP, 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 WAP. You know, like that that, that New Orleans beat, and when. I saw either a review or some some kind of way I saw it. I was like, you got to be freaking kidding me. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Like, really? Mm-hmm. And then the visuals of the video. Mm-hmm. Like, let's say you just turn turn the, the music off and you just see the video. It's like, really? Like, you're going to have kids porn. one day and, and grandkids, right, grandkids, great-grandkids, whatever. And you know, like my my great grandmother was in a uh, WAP twerking or shaking her butt. Oh, mm-hmm. okay, and she did what? I mean, right? Like, what did she contribute to the world? Right. Besides that, it's. I mean, it's I, it's crazy. It's really really crazy to me. You would think we've learned something. Even from the information that we all have gotten about Sarah Bartram, we all have seen mm. that. So we've seen through, throughout history how we are viewed, yet we continue to allow that same uh, 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 story, that same uh, 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 pl- st- a plot to play out every time. And we're the ones doing it this time. Mm. Well, for for the people that eavesdropping on and listening to our conversation, please tell them who that is because everybody don't know that's what's sad and sickening but everybody everybody doesn't know this is true so to for the long story short i will tell you go do your homework and research research it yourself but long story short she was a black woman with of course as most black women have big hips big thighs big behind big breast um and she was pretty much on display always for her slave owners and, and all the other uh, uh, white people that were around and everything because they couldn't understand her body. They wanted to do probing and testing to try to understand what, you know, what caused her body to look the way it did and how she was able to move with her body and different things of that nature. So it was always just like a spectacle of of a natural black woman and what she was endowed with. And today we do the mm-hmm. same. We put ourselves on spec. We make a spectacle of ourselves. We haven't decided to change the narrative of that. We want to ride that narrative as long as it makes me some money. Instead of thinking to yourself, this is why I love people like like Jill Scott at NDRE. Now, yeah, some people, well, Jill Scott can be a little raunchy. She can, but if you pay attention to her and listen to some of the words she's telling you, she's telling you it's power within your hips. It's power in them thighs, mm-hmm. but you don't give it to everybody. She's telling you, yeah, you might have power, but be very selective about what you do with it. You know, Erica Badu is trying to cha- teach you something. Uh, uh, India, I read, they're trying to teach you something about your body, but yet those are the ones that will downplay on the side over here because we want to listen to Megan the Stallion call ourselves savage i'm sorry I, I i'm just gonna go all the way i'm not a savage i'm i'm a lady if you go look up the definition of a savage i'm not that that's the same thing they've called black people forever in a day savages and the same thing they call us now but yet now we've turned it oh well we got to take it and make it our own i'll never make that word my own because that's not who i am i can't be a goddess and a savage at the same time that's not gonna work mm. that's not gonna work for me so we listened to this. Let her first. She called the savages. Now we out here talking about WAP. 
really? How much lower are we going to go next? Where are we going now? Because at this mm. point in the game, y'all giving her all the power and all the praises and bumping her, got her going. And now you got your, your teenage daughters your, your, and all of these other listening, just listening. You got uh, your young boys listening. You think they're going to grow up and respect women listening to women say this about themselves? Mm -hmm. Guess what they've just told boys? You don't have to look for anything else in a female except for WAP. That's what they just mm -hmm. told all our young boys. So, and, and forget even just young boys. Some grown men still out here that's lost. You just told them the same thing. Yeah. Oh, nothing else matters except that. But now we want to be respected, though. We want to be treated a certain way, but we tell them this is what it is. We're so delusional, it's ridiculous. And and to kind of further that, like, I'll watch stuff um, or see stuff, like, about how black women are not respected. Like, when a black woman is murdered like you know Breonna Taylor or whatever um Sandra Bland and other black women that have been killed you hear and know and see the protests mainly behind the men right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the thing is as black women we we know not most of us 99.9% .9 of us know our worth it's the 0.1% that the world sees yep the ones that's in Walmart with the um I can't even think I talk about them so the much. Bonnets. Mm -hmm. The bonnets. The bonnets. The one acting a whole ass out here. Mm -hmm. You know, that that's one percent. But see, that one percent is very loud. Cause yep. you if not if we're not on social media fighting, we shaking our ass and then uh or you know, you see the ones in Walmart or wherever else acting a whole fool, and then it's like that ninety nine percent of us that it's like that's the silent majority. Yep. And so then like me or you um or go in public and everybody then they look at the one percent. That's what they see mostly and looking at us like, okay, I wonder if this one got six kids or if she about to get in hmm. a fight or if she about to start twerking on, you know, on a shelf or something up in Walmart. I don't know. But it makes the fight I don't like I'm tired. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. Like I, I'm tired. I can't speak for the black women you see on those. Like I don't. I just can't. You know what hmm. I'm saying? Just don't. Just don't run up like because you didn't seen how some pe black women act on TV or think that you could disrespect us or that I'm one of the ones that's gonna go out of my way to prove to you I'm not even worried about a wop. Period. I I, I may you. I promise. Period. Because at the end of the day, for any man, if that's all you come around here for, baby, I'm so much more than that. And if you can't understand that, first of all, I'm not even a woman you need to talk to. Because please understand, you got to get to my brain before you get to my panties. You, it's, it's a process here. It's a process. And you got to get to my heart after my brain. So uh, you got to go through the line. You have to figure out w uh, uh, which way you go. You can't even think. First of all, you can't even think about a panty before you get past my brain. Mm. Boom. Uh, what the heck I was about to say? Cause and the, okay, so when we talk about uh, how black women are seen, right? Mm -hmm. So we got the overly sexual. Mm -hmm. that that they they want us to have that image of overly, overly sexual, like um in a in a time to kill. And I hadn't seen that movie in forever, but some stuff is just burned in your brain. And I never forget right. like um one of the guys that raped the little girl was saying something like about black little black girls' bodies being so developed and ready and stuff like that, right? So mm -hmm. society has tried to over-sexualize us. Then you got that 1% of black women that, you know, per perpetuates that image of us being over-sexualized, right? Yep. And to me, that's not taking your power. That's not empowering you as a woman to prove that you have a vagina. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't have that to prove in any way shape or form so you got that one image of black women then you got the other image of black women that they want to put like we so hard and masculine like the oh. cover they did i want to say of um simone biles of vogue yes yes on vogue mm -hmm. so like if if we're not you know telling you all about our wap then we 
real masculine and you, you and know angry. like yeah. yeah yeah it's only like one there is no things. in between yeah so, one or so, two things we're either a whore or we're or we're upset manly mm. I I don't I just you know like on one hand you like oh you know what I don't even care FTW you know but on the other hand like even though I have a son one day I I may have a granddaughter mm-hmm. or so on and so forth and like hmm. even with my little girl cousins um you know having to feed into them constantly we're looking at a a photo album I created the other day and every picture they saw of themselves, they picked out what was wrong. Oh, why my hair was like that. Why my, why I had them pants on. Why like nothing good. And so I said, I said, "Uh uh-uh, y'all stop that. And they was like, what TV? I said, no, I said, don't look at a picture of you yourself ever Ever. and pick out what's wrong. Mm Mm-hmm. And it and if that's the first thing that comes to your mind, do not verbalize it. Do not put that out there into the universe. And but we fact, have raised it because they, thought. yeah, and they like they was doing it to their own pictures, and then was doing it like to other people. And this was all photo album of aunt, family wow. picking, you know, picking each other apart. And I'm like, that is the prop. That's where it starts. Yep. Because it's not um being checked. Yep. Because yep. nobody else sat there and said nothing like, hey, y'all stop doing that or don't say that, blah, blah, blah. But I did because I realized the power of words and, and imagery and how you see yourself. Mm-hmm. So if you got a, a, a child, a teenager, young adult or whatever, looking at pictures of themselves, criticizing themselves, then they're going to think that all I'm worth is a WAP. Or yep. however you want to say it. Or, um, you know, because if I'm not that way, I don't want to be looked at as, as manly and angry. Mm-hmm. It's like want to bust people in the head. <laughs> I may be that angry, angry, violent. I would, I would say in head, but preferably I like punching people in the neck. So I guess I am that angry, violent black woman. No, I don't want to punch them in the neck either. I want to punch them right in the snot box. That's where I want to hit them. <laughs> Square in the middle at the nose. Because something's got to click. Like, it, it's crazy. Like, But if you think about it, with even our young girls, even when we say, oh, well, you know, I make sure I tell my daughter she's beautiful and blah, blah, blah. When do we go deeper than a look? Mm-hmm. This is why, again, we still have all of these 16, 17-year-olds want to be Instagram models. Well, my mommy and daddy told me I was pretty, but, but did mommy and daddy ever tell you, baby, that you are brilliant? You are a genius. And maybe we start changing the narrative on just that because all we can put into their head is whether they're beautiful or not. And so now, not only do we have to 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 think, well, my I was always told I'm pretty. So now we have the the girls that all that always quote unquote I'm the pretty girl and want to be the model. And then those now are the ones that shut down all the other girls because you don't look like me. So now we have a problem there. Instead of continuously pushing the narrative of my baby so beautiful, my baby so pretty, they should be models. Instead of pushing that, why aren't we pushing the narrative of Baby, you are brilliant. You are a genius. Mm-hmm. You can take over whatever it is you decide that you want to do in this world. You can run it and run it well. You're a strong black woman. You don't have to settle for this. You don't have. Why are we not having those kinds of conversations? Those are the ones we should have. Forget the looks. Forget all of that. I actually had this conversation with a, a couple of parents a couple of weeks ago. And I was saying, even with our boys. It's to the point where we should be telling our boys, you don't have to give away your goods. Your stuff is just as good as hers. And you don't have to run all over the world and, and, and sticking it in everything that you see because she says she got a WAP. You got to go test it. No, <laughs> make her work for that. If she thinks she need to get some of what you got, make her work for it too. make her act, step up her game. You're too smart for it. Like, and, and those are the, I think that's where we're missing the mark with, with, within our culture. Because we allow music and mm-hmm. YouTube and everything else to feed into them what, what is, quote unquote, they should be living. Instead of saying, no, this is what's really happening. 
this is where the world, this is, this is the way the world is now, and this is what you have to contend with. So this is what I need to prepare you for. Mm. No, but we, we cool with, with, with WAP. We even got, you know, TikTok videos with old grown ass women mm. talking about this, how I kept them for 27 years. Stop lying to those girls. Oh, uh-uh. You a liar. It's not cute. Stop lying to them. You didn't keep him for 27 years because you, you see, see, this is after dark, but see, I almost went there. I almost went there because 27 years ago, maybe, but he ain't stayed there for 27 years because at some point looking at your age is dry. Let's keep it real unless you're taking something. So stop playing with these girls and tell them the truth. It takes work. It takes some compromise. It takes some understanding of each other. It takes some, some, some give and take. Yeah. Tell the truth. WAP ain't, that's not what kept you with that man for 27 years. That show ain't what kept him there. Kept him there. And if you're going to be honest, let's really check and see. Well, for the full 27 years, was he just in your WAP or hers too over there? Let's be real. Mm. And uh, so let's say that is true. <laughs> Why would you put it out there like that? Because you let letting it be known. Let's say if it is true that you are so shallow and your man is so shallow that that's all it take is another WAP for them to get the next 27 years. Like, really? Thank you. Or she's been, or you, he's been sharing them 27 years with somebody else. So you don't know. it. Uh huh. Cause if you, cause if you a woman, you know it. I, hmm. Where where that song at? Thank you. Shoot. Thank you. That W A P ain't ain't always W A P. Huh. No. You better ask somebody to go ask a guy in the colleges. But it's <laughs> that part. It's true. That part. <laughs> if a guy in the colleges still say sing that song or something, that's a whole different story because they may, you know, have had some experience or know some stuff. I don't know. Right. You know, let's just be honest. Because you could not have the right amount of fluids. Right. You could, whatever. It could just, your emotions could be over the place. And it, it ain't WAP. It's and doc. He, right. Today. And he might not even mix well. His chemistry and your chemistry might not even mix well together and cause something else to go on. Why ain't we educating on all of that, baby? Y'all don't understand your pH balance throwing off over here. You smell like this and you ain't supposed to. Because <laughs> you, stop playing. Stop playing. <laughs> I need a shirt that say that. Stop playing with me. <laughs> I'm just I saying. It's just I'm all just... the stuff that needs to be taught that's not. It's... So, who, who, when we look at our image as black women in America, do do we even begin like who do we point the finger at because you could you could point the finger at at WAP or you could go back to uh Luke you know what I'm saying can I be honest with you go ahead I will never blame any of that on a man Mm. I never will because for a simple fact there's always what a woman somewhere that is going to want to be paid that's always thinking about a dollar. So Luke's song wouldn't have popped off if there wasn't some fast women wanting to be shaking all up over all over the place. If there wasn't women running at him to give up they walk and no respect for themselves. It ain't a new thing for women to not respect themselves. This is something old. Hmm. So how can we fault a man? I'll, I, you can't fault him for going off of what we get, what women have given them. For decades to go with, so I can't in that in that in in that kind of arena as far as you know the music and stuff. I can't fault men. Mm. I can't. I, I can't. They only sing what they know. So when so when you look at this, okay, do you think? I mean, I know the answer, so that's not even a question. But my thing is, like, you could have a a white girl, mm-hmm. or white girls do the same thing. 
But mm-hmm. honestly, when a uh, when a black woman do it, it's like it's it's news. It's so much mm-hmm. more. It's, it's the greatness. So much more conversation about that. So what you know what you what you think about that? I mean, I have my own thoughts because let's be honest. Um, you know, a uh, a lot of y'all out there trying to basically build you a black woman with, without it being a, a black, black woman, woman, you know, with the lip, mm-hmm. a lip injections. Let me get some little mm-hmm. silicone or whatever you putting in the butt or, mm-hmm. or, or whatever. Let me go get a tan. So I'm ambiguous. Is that the terminology? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, that like, okay. So a while ago before the whole shutdown and everything, I never forget. I was traumatized. I'm still a little traumatized. When I went to go get my massage and they had this white lady had mo Botox or whatever crap they put in their lips. Uh, number one, her lips was bigger than mine. And if y'all seen the picture, like I, I got some lips on me. Okay. Very proud of them. Uh, I, but I was traumatized because no, because number one, they were so big and it looked a hot shitty mess excuse my french spanish and english but my thing is you know how like the uh black you know your lips so big uh you know how back in the day before yep. quote unquote lips became a thing yep now you got people paying for it looking like a hot fish like a hot catfish that, I, don't know, that. I don't even know what to say so even when it comes <laughs> to but a black woman can have the same butt that's naturally hers mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. you know, that looks, quote unquote, nasty or she's sexualizing. And then you get some white girl to go get some injections or whatever they put in their butt. And all of a sudden it's trend setting. It's this, this right. and this. Right. No, don't get me sorry, because I'll go down the list. I mean, it's. It's, it... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a two part conversation. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> It's just, it's crazy because, because for, for, for the longest now, and and you've said it, they, they've been buying what we have. And to, to, it's it's crazy because you want to buy the Bentley or better yet, Mm -hmm. you have a Bentley and you want to buy a Honda and put Bentley parts on it and think it should operate the same way. And then you sit out here and you knock the Bentley for being a Bentley. I mean, that's just what it is. It was created, bam, there's the Bentley. But yet, in your attempts to make the Bentley feel less than the Bentley, let me praise the Honda with the Bentley parts over here. Oh, well, because, you know, to be a Honda and be able to take on those Bentley parts, they working good with those parts. But, boo-boo, that's manufactured. Mm. That's all made up. None of that goes together. That was not a natural creation. This over here, this was all put together perfectly the way it should be. Mm. At the end of the day, I mean, you got, it, it, we get it. We get it. It will never be. It'll never be something to where they're just satisfied and happy with the black woman. It'll never be. And that's mm. fine. In my opinion, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Because at the end of the day, I understand, especially from the other side of it, I understand why it won't. I understand because to do that would basically let y'all know that, you know, y'all been wrong the whole time. Hmm. So from that side of the, 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 uh, the gate, I can see that. But when you stand on the same side of the gate as me and doing this, Looking a whole hot mess out, chill. I got problems. A with whole that. hot mess. Oh yeah. And my, and you know what? I I think honestly, um, I think part part of the problem is because you know, you get some of the, some black women that are amen a bad singing choir. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. So my thing is like we don't always like we we want to run away from that image so much of being the uh quote unquote angry black woman or bitter black woman. They want to throw all these titles on us and so, and most of the time we just being truthful and expressing ourselves like don't come at me with uh a knife and don't think I'm coming back with a sword or a greater. Thank you. And I think I had I personally had to get over that 
voicing my opinion doesn't make me the angry black woman or bitter black woman. And if you think that that's your, that's your personal problem, not mine. Exactly. But for me saying that, I'm glad that I don't have to sit out and get a tan, baby. This gold don't fade. Real gold don't fade. Period. Okay? Period. Take Pooh. it how you want. <laughs> and, okay, so my thing is, if me expressing certain certain things that are obvious uh offend you that's that may be a personal problem it, it, i mean it's obvious and it's truthful and i think so many black women want to get away from that quote unquote stereotype that they are okay that stuff you understand what i'm saying yep like you got that that one uh wigger take it how you want to ask white girl that hang with you and you are okay mm-hmm. in that and you under girl hmm, like i and, like and i said it's gonna have to be a trying whole to... part too yeah, trust me, I understand because that's another thing, honest to God, that's another thing that works me, baby. I'm not with that. Them, them your friends, and I get it, but please don't let her sit up in here thinking she's me. Mm. She'll she'll never understand my plight. She'll never understand what it, what it was like to live in my skin. Mm-hmm. So until she can she can do that, I need her to press on press on and she's never gonna be able to do that so at this point (laughs) i mean i think they need black women like when you look in the media instead of them you know we had a saying uh out here in louisiana you know um like you'll say somebody like they owe our right ass like i don't know if other people say it but that's like for somebody that's like a amen choir you know, like you just want to be all right with everybody. So that's right. what we would say, like, oh, with your old all right ass or something like that or beep cuss word. Um, so but you don't have those kind of women in, in the media that need to be honest and expressing stuff and saying what needs to be said. And I understand, you know, like, OK, they got to get paid but at what point it, like why you got to sacrifice your integrity your moral compass your self-esteem and those things just for a dollar mm. like when i look at black women in the media that's one of the reasons why i love monique whether she was right or wrong with what she said and what she was trying to do is not for debate but it's the simple fact that she said something that needed to be said when you got to the foundation of what she said mm-hmm Sure. That is the truth. And it's, it sucks that, you know, her career suffered because of it. But then you get old fried chicken on the red carpet, beep word, uh, <laughs> Tiffany Haddish. Right. Who ain't, ain't funny in my At opinion. All. Teach his own. At all. Okay. Um, and she owned everything looking, you know, and, Okay, that's another stereotype of black women. Yep. And we all not acting out here like Tiffany Haddish. Nope. She's always you know playing the ratchet ignorant. And, and I'm like, and everybody, oh, but she's funny. That's not, it, y'all she's have to not. understand, that's not funny. That's the stereotype that they consistently have her play. And she's fine playing that for the dollar. Always the loud, ignorant yep. type. And we are not all that, and I'm sick of seeing that from her. Does she have anything else she can do? Because at this point, she's just looking like her skills are dried up to me. That's all she know how to do. Mm. I see, can see. I can walk yeah. out my door and see that. Or I, somebody could piss me off enough, and I could act like that. But that's not <laughs> how I act a hundred percent of the time. That that too. <laughs> I can be that, but I mean, I don't need to see that on my TV screen every time. You know, I mean, think and about it. People, we we had growing up, we had Claire Huxtable. Say what you want about Bill, all that stuff, but we had people like Claire Huxtable that sent their children and and showed how they sent their children off to college to make something of themselves. Mm-hmm. What happened to those positive people like that that we can see on TV? We don't have that anymore. Mm-mm. We don't have that. Mm-mm. Our little kids because gotta have, deal with I, whatever whatever's here. You know what I think, though? I think because now we have more more black people willing to to sell us out. Mm-hmm. Well, we have more of our own willing to sell us out. So people can't say, like, well, this is what the record companies are paid for. This is what da-da-da-da. In today's day and time, you 
and I don't know much about the music industry, right? I mm-hmm. don't, I don't know, but like <laughs> selling your soul, selling out your people because you're thinking about me in this moment. <clears throat> now you look at, um, you look at Beyonce, right? Mm-hmm. Good, bad, or ugly, however you feel about her. Um, and she she's done some stuff. Um, but let's you know, like her image. You you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Um. Okay. I, she, she, while she's done some stuff, she's still not. In my opinion, it's my opinion. She's still not the one that I would say I would have my young girls look up to. Because I still don't right. see where she's doing enough. I'm not going to say enough. I don't see where she's really creating that huge impact culture. Not not so much in the culture of, of Black is King and all that. That's beautiful. Okay, we know that. Right. Um, but in, in, the, in, the, in, in the arena of building our, our young girls to be warrior women, to be women that, that understand... I don't have to do this or be like that or have WAP in order to be successful, in order to make moves. I can do, you know, that it's, I don't, not, I'm not taking anything from her, but I'm just like right now in our day and age, musically, we pretty, we almost really don't have like any real spokesperson in the music industry in that sense that I could say, yeah, that would be somebody we could push to the front. Kind of like, you know, how James Brown was. They needed James Brown to come in, and and, and, and they called him, hey, this is because this is what needs to happen. And and he came with, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. And and it had and calmed the people, but still gave that same message that needed to be, to, that needed to get across to the people. Oh, well, yeah, we black and proud, but I don't see any musicians today doing that. Like I said, I the ones that agree. are doing it, the ones that are doing it, they are so underrated. Andy Ivory got a whole album about it, pretty much. Oh, I love her. Um, I, Sacred Space and yes. Crazy. Yeah, those have been oh, my favorite I, for the past two years. Who They've been out that long? I right. just got up on them literally this year, I promise. <laughs> yeah, Stop those, the madness. Yeah, those have been out for about two years now. Yeah. I wear them out. I'm telling you, she probably, like, yeah. on, the, on YouTube, she probably have... 500,000 of her views probably just from me alone. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, she's got she's got that music. I Am Light. Yeah. All of these, you know what I mean? Like yeah. all of these songs, beautiful. Uh, um, um, even go back to a uh, video. I'm not the average girl yeah. from your, vi- your video. Like she always done that, but she's so downplayed. But I, uh, I honestly, I put that on um, because to a certain extent, we have to look at like even when we talk about like the one percent of us that act a whole cuss word out here, um, we have to we know that the that media is cultivated to do whatever the powers that be wanted to do, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So which is why some people are are popular and some people aren't. Right. So if, if the media's goal is to you know take out uh the real Bentley um then I'm gonna play down I'm gonna tell you everything that's wrong with the Bentley while building up my Honda with Bentley parts Mm -hmm. you understand what I'm saying so even though like I remember uh Alicia Keys and India Irie came out at the same around the same time and Mm -hmm. uh, yeah uh, Alicia Keys yeah you know cute you know that you got a cute voice okay but right india Irie, her songs and her voice bring you like oh tears mm-hmm. you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying but if but we know why one of them was played up and pushed and then she ended up being a whole home wrecker out here that you know you know and then you got india i i Irie, which is not the image that the media, you know, the media doesn't want to push the image of, of the Bentley because it, it's more in, invested uh, in pushing the image of the Honda, so to yep. speak. Yep. I'm going to start using that when I talk code. <laughs> I, when I talk code from now on on the show, when I talk code, that's what I'm going to say. Bentley, Honda. Take it how y'all want. The truth mm, is the, the truth. Tight. Thank you. Um, Goodness. 
I think I think to to sum it up to to sum up our conversation about being a a black woman in America like uh, I mean what what are your thoughts what you got to say queen shannon <sighs> I mean, I know when you start with a sigh, <laughs> it's like you having to meditate for a second. I, I do. I have to really collect my thoughts and say it how I, it's difficult. It is difficult. Um, it's it's difficult from so many angles. It's difficult from the angle of white America. Um, it's difficult from the angle of men in general, and I'm not saying all men, but when I just say men, it's just a classification, but I, because I do know there's some men out there that absolutely treat black women wonderfully, whether it be black, white, whatever, brown, whatever. So I'm not saying all men. So who's ever listening, I'd say all men, but from uh, just America in general, men um, and even ourselves. Mm. And I, I think it's extremely difficult and, um, it's it, it's it's just hard. It's hard, and then it's and it's hard even trying to be ones that try to educate or even inform the others and to build them. Because at the end of the day, anytime I try to help anyone and educate them and think I'm trying to, I'm a, my attempt is to build you and to, so that you can be better and do better. But it's 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 hard out here for a pimp. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> I mean, just it's, it's hard. It's 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 so hard. It's it's so hard. It's hard being understood. It's so hard being accepted. It's hard being loved. It's just hard for us. It's hard. And and like I said, our, our biggest, our biggest, um battle is within ourselves yeah but you know what at the at the end of the day i and if i got to choose who i was in the next life i would still be a black woman all day or a day bentley for life for for life for life before um, Wait, what? B B B four L. Black for life. Uh, black uh, for life, Bentley for life. However you want to say it. Make me get a tattoo out here. <laughs> uh, that's that's what what I would say, and I love how you said that. Is as black women, we need to learn who who we are. Like just like in school, I I don't know if it's different now or not, but. When I was in school, they really didn't teach us our history. Mm-mm. But it's like our history started in slavery, and Africa was a jungle. Even though we were enslaved, we were rescued from. Go start doing your research. Now we have access to a whole lot of resources, and learn those things. And if you don't learn anything else from this conversation, learn this: Cleopatra was mm-hmm. not white. Come on. Now, you can take it how you want to. Neither was Nefertiti. Come on. I'm doing a whole eye roll like it's a video going on. Look, but, uh, and I got my head turned to the side like, come on. Like, you know, <laughs> but that's what I would recommend, especially for, for anybody, whether you're a black woman or not, in America or not. Number one, the, the first, we started the human race. Hmm. Huh. Come on with it. Come on, educate the people now. Girl, I, look, this this gonna be a whole look. Y'all gonna have to catch the I, I, part two. It won't be labeled part two, but when we kind of pick up this conversation, because me and Queen Shannon could educate you on some things. But baby, the they don't know nothing about that. Look Eugene. up. You know, girl, why are mm. you always starting mess at the end of a? Of I'm a sorry. Conversation? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boo. You know, I, always. <laughs> not yet. You, you know. That's I, I I can't even say nothing else. Um, besides y'all, look, this is not classes in session, but y'all could do some damn homework For real. and learn about the about the greatness that is uh, the black woman. I definitely recommend that for black women and the black women in your life, start recognizing who you are on the inside, and please believe we are the ninety nine percent. The one percent yeah. will become extinct. The weak it becomes extinct and you could take it how you want to with that. 
That's um shoot, thank you for listening. Hashtag. Yeah. Um oh yeah, so before we get up, I do want to say this. I did set up an Etsy store. Did it's you? called Kinda Nice Tees. Okay. So y'all check check that out. I'm adding shirts because y'all know I be preaching all the time about passive income, blah, blah, blah. If y'all better learn how to use Canva print for an Etsy. That's all I'm gonna say on that part. Okay. Uh, Thank you for listening. That's what black women do. We we create shit. Bam. I think that's it right there. That's, Nothing else need to be that's, said. That's the end of the show. That's it. Y'all listen to the outro. Until next time. You have been listening to Define You Radio After Dark Conversations. If you learn something, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with your friends, family, and foes. Make sure you go over to defineuradio.com and subscribe for our monthly giveaways and more. Thank you.